This is gross. This looks like him. Dumb. The wrinkly skin. Today, you guys are gonna be trying and rating the last meals of some infamous criminals on death row. Criminals! What? what are we talking about? The Prison. big one. Are they gonna come back and haunt me? Oh, That's I didn't even think about fear. the after. Yeah. Afterlife. This man looks like he's never blinked. Oh, guilty, and he is a serial killer. He looks, he's bald. <laughs> Manuel Pardo Jr. was a former police officer <sighs> in Florida. Oh, oh God. <laughs> who turned into a notorious criminal, also known as the Death Row Romeo. What? What? What do you mean, Rome? Like this man romanced? was getting bitches? In the late 1980s, Pardo, after being fired from the police department, became involved in the drug trade and went oh. on a killing spree. Oh. He confessed oh. to killing at least nine victims, but claimed that they were drug dealers who had no right to live and that he was doing society a favor. While on death row awaiting execution, he placed lowly hearts ads and targeted vulnerable women, scamming them out of hundreds or thousands of dollars. Well, what did he spend the money on? <laughs> like, there's prison, not, what, what did prison, he even buy? Prison cigarettes, so? what else? Yeah. They knew he was on death row. And then they were like, yeah, here's some money. Is this eggnog? Oh. For his last meal, he requested rice and beans, roasted pork, plantains, avocado, tomato, and olive oil, pumpkin pie, eggnog, and Cuban coffee. Eggnog. It's eggnog. That's oh, why Cuban it's bubbly. Coffee. Cuban coffee. Have you had Cuban coffee before? I've, no, what is a Cuban I coffee? I don't think I've ever had Cuban Try coffee. some Cuban coffee. Just like kiss it. Oh, good God. <laughs> yeah, isn't that so Isn't weird? that crazy? <clears throat> mm hmm Oh my God. <laughs> now I can understand why his eyes are that big. <laughs> I've never had warm eggnog. Yeah, me neither. That's actually pretty pleasant. Did it you is, liked it? It is pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It got a little salt and pepper in there. It's got some spice. It's got some flavor. I'm gonna keep eating the it's peppered nice. meat. Yeah, this is good. This, this is, is a, a good meal. great dish. What would you rate this meal and why? One. Actually, no, two. <laughs> because of the fact that this is our first one, I'm gonna give this an eight because like, um, it is it is a whole meal. I'm gonna give it a seven. I give it a five. I'd give this a six. I feel like it's well balanced. It's got a bit of everything. I give this meal a five because you're a piece of shit and you don't deserve anything more than that. Is that a child murderer? I'm afraid because I see children. If the kids are in it, if she did something to those kids. I'm gonna be really upset. In 2004, Lisa Ann Coleman and her partner, Marcella Williams, were convicted of torturing and murdering Marcella's nine-year-old son, Devante. These are the ones I can't handle. Torturing and killing? These are the ones I can't handle. He died of malnutrition, weighing only 35 pounds. As nine years old? With over 250 scars on his body. <sighs> they counted them? Marcella, the mother, pleaded guilty to the murder in exchange for life imprisonment, while Coleman's case went to trial and she received the death sentence. Death, death it is. Forget anything I said about, about paying back to society. Let's, let's get it over with. Uh, what is going on here? Why is there toast? For her last meal, she had a fried pork chop, macaroni and cheese, carrots, green beans, navy beans, sliced bread, a pineapple orange cake, water, tea, and punch. I love the commitment to water to stay hydrated <laughs> right before your death. <laughs> ah! This food looks like trash. Uh, by the way, it's The mac and gross. cheese looks good. Feels like there's a lot of extra that doesn't need to be there. Yeah. The beans like, what is, didn't even yeah. try them. This pork situation looks good. I mean, it's low. good. It's good. <laughs> mm. This dessert is winning a lot of points. Straight up. I'm gonna give it a one, and the one is for the mac and cheese. For everything put together, seven. I give this meal a zero, because uh, I just don't like her, and the food she picked wasn't that great. I'm also gonna give this one a seven. The meal itself, really good. To have that taste good, I'm like, no, yeah, no. Right. You starved that kid. Yeah, that's the other thing. Zero. Zero. <laughs> Get us out of here. It's giving, they woke me up to arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say he took a bat to somebody. <laughs> He's, he's looking slimy a little bit. Known as the Ninja Killer. Oh boy, oh boy. Luis Bernard Gaskin went on a random killing spree in Palm Coast, Florida. Mm -hmm. Nope, you already had me in Florida. He dressed in a full black ninja outfit to avoid identification. 
Right, because nobody would be like, well, what did he look Who's like? That? I have no idea. <laughs> Who's that running ninja? <laughs> he shot and killed one couple and attempted to murder a second couple who escaped. Yeah. He confessed to just having an urge to kill. Wow. I don't think it's normal to just have an urge to kill. And also, while incarcerated, confessed to having killed a co-worker three years earlier. Dude, you can't even go to work, bro. Oh. oh, wow. Okay, now this is looking more like a end of life Yeah, this meal. is, I'm okay with this. For his last meal, he ate barbecue pork ribs, buffalo wings, shrimp fried rice, french fries with honey barbecue sauce, turkey necks, and water. I'm going straight for the You're neck. You're going for the neck? If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> mm. I've never had turkey neck before. But this is a very interesting thing. I'm just going in on this wing. This wing is really hitting the spot right now. I don't love the sauce. Mm -mm, I don't either. It's a dark meat, huh? Yeah, it's not my favorite. Yeah, I'm not a fan. You should, have you uh, had turkey necks before? No. Ew, 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 ew. That was like, oh, that was a cartilage. That was like, that was like tendons. That that felt, oh, that felt medical. This feels like an appetizer platter at Applebee's. <laughs> Besides the turkey neck, I would give it like a seven. I'd say a seven is, a seven, a seven feels right. For a meal as a whole, five. Honestly, a four. The meal itself, it's such a hodgepodge that I'm gonna go with like a four. The fact that he dressed as a ninja does bring it up to a five for me. <laughs> but you killed people so it brings it back down to a four. Can I just, can I just agree with Sharon's <laughs> rating on that? Hey, real quick, my boy, look at me. Like, right, look what? at the camera. He looks like he is not aware that he's being arrested. Is this guy a pedophile? In 1965, Robert Lee Massey committed his first murder and was sentenced to death. However, following the Furman v. Georgia case in 1972, which invalidated all then existing oh, legal constructs no. for the death penalty, he was resentenced to life in prison okay. and paroled in 1978. No. I can see where this is going. Just a few months later, he murdered his second victim and pleaded guilty despite his lawyer telling him not to. On appeal, the Supreme Court of California overturned the conviction, saying that he could not plead guilty against the advice of his lawyer. Wow. What? Wow. When has that ever been a thing? What? So he went out again. He was retried and a jury found him guilty and he was sentenced to death for a third and final time. God. Third time's a charm, baby. God. What? Ooh, I'm gonna go in on this smoothie. See, this is my oh, type see, of- See, this is my type of- Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I don't know what that is. For his last meal, he had two vanilla milkshakes, extra crispy french fries, extra crispy fried oysters. Oh. Oysters. And a soft drink. I've never had fried oysters. How do you feel? I don't know how I feel about it. Personally for me, when it, when it comes to oysters, it's raw or nothing. Oysters? Oh. oh you gotta try one bite. You can spit it out, but you should try one. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I saw the inside. No, 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 no. I don't like that. <laughs> Ugh. Two milkshakes this guy downed. Those fries are damn good. Mm, and you know this guy's gonna spend some time like this. Oh, he was he was fry dipping. Mm, it was definitely a... Compared to all of the other ones, this is like a three. Like, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna give it a four just for like, the milkshake, great. Let's say oh. a five because the oyster is the only part I don't like out of it. Yeah, I mean, I also give it a five, but I don't have that many negative things to say about it. It just doesn't seem like this would be it. Five! Yeah, five. It's like some good winners. Some yeah. Like, meh, meh, and mm. then this guy, meh, yeah. five. <laughs> she looks like she did something. <laughs> Riggs, Carol yeah. Riggs. She looks, she looks guilty, yo. In 1997, licensed practical nurse, Christina Marie Riggs, murdered her two children, aged two and five, <sighs> No. By injecting them no. with potassium chloride. No. She obtained from her hospital, which caused burning in his veins, but not death. She then smothered both of her children and attempted suicide, but failed. She claims that the murders were the result of depression and PTSD from working as a nurse near the site of the Oklahoma City bombing. I have clinical depression. I have never once wanted to kill a child. She did not put on a defense saying she wanted to be executed. She failed a suicide, so she was like, please kill me. Her final words? Yeah. I love you, my baby. Oh! No! No! Come on! No! It's like, this is not okay. Oh, I do love some good pizza. <laughs> pizza! For her last meal, she had a supreme pizza, salad, fried okra, cherry limeade, and a strawberry shortcake. I mean, in terms of last meals, you can't go wrong with pizza. 
Agreed. Mm. Sally. I, I love strawberry shortcake so much. Okra? I've never had okra. Oh. Oh, some. you should try it. I was going to. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's what I'm saying, okra? Dude, loser, <laughs> man. Loser, just okra? You're such a piece of... What a loser. Like, no. This is, this is like a, this is like a five. This is mid. This is mid range. Yeah, yeah. I give it a five. This is, I feel like it's too many weird things together. It makes sense together in my head, so I'm just gonna give mm -hmm. it a six. I feel like it's giving seven. I hate this woman. Damn, she ordered she, so much. She ate a whole pizza before she went? Of course she did. <sighs> zero! This I... girl's getting a zero! What's up, dog? How's your hairline? Oops, sorry. Oh, I'm so receding. sorry. Receding. This guy does not look remorseful. Hmm. This guy's f hair. Oops. Gilbert Ray Postel began using meth on a daily basis oh, when he was boy. 12. Oh! Which 12? Was, which his father manufactured in an old school bus behind their home. His father was in a severe motorcycle accident receiving a brain injury resulting in seizures. Gilbert, this man, believed a man named Donnie Swindle was responsible mm -hmm. despite there being zero evidence. Sure. Okay. So, so Gilbert, along with his brother, father, and another man, executed Swindle and three other people with an AK-47 in a blitz attack. He was 18 years old when he committed this murder. Jeez. That's obviously not surprising because of the, wait for it, meth. Meth, meth isn't cool. Wow. Oh my god. Is this my heebies? Alright, dog. <laughs> chicken nuggies? His last meal, a 20 piece chicken McNuggets with ranch barbecue and honey mustard, large fries, a crispy chicken sandwich, a regular chicken sandwich, large Coke, and a caramel frappe. Fully McDonald's. This Full guy McDonald's. last. Honestly, he respect. I mean, big Mickey D's fan. I'm going Honey Mussy. Oh, yeah. You got him. This is like my childhood. Mm -hmm. Chicken nuggets, honey mustard. This this is slapping. This is hitting no, the spot It's, right it's now. good, but it's like interesting. You know, like it's an interesting choice. I think for the last, like the last meal. That's where his mental state finished at, what, 12? Yeah. Wow. But he was heart healthy because he was going all chicken. And eight? just because of the respect for the chicken nuggies, the assortment of sauces, the fries to go along with it. You know what, I give it an eight. Why not? I love some Mickey D's and I love a chicken sandwich. <laughs> just because of the fact that I love me some chicken nuggies, it's like a six. I'm gonna keep it at a six. Wow. Can I just be agreeing with Sharon this whole way? Cause like, this is this is the it's same. It's life, a lot, that happens a lot. It, yeah. I'm going six as well. I'll give it a seven. I would, I mean, I would eat this. Sir? The soul patch is patching. <laughs> Why is that gray? Oh, well, he looks like I could be related to him. This guy looks like a creep, man. Joseph Paul Franklin was a serial killer. Gray. Gray. And American neo-Nazi terrorist. No! Oh, wow! Ooh! Oh, yeah. that is the worst one, Nicole. Who went on a murder spree in the late 1970s and early 1980s. He was convicted of several murders. So much so that he received four life sentences and two death sentences. How do you do two? He got killed twice. <laughs> he also confessed to the attempted murders of Larry Flint in 1978. Oh, really? Is he the one that shot him and why he's in the wheelchair? No way. Really? And civil rights activist Vernon Jordan in 1980. Oh, yeah. He sought to cleanse the world of people he considered inferior. Ew, 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 ew. Hmm, heard that before, buddy. His primary source of support were bank robberies and paid blood bank donations which is actually eventually what led to his capture by the FBI. Yeah, stupid, uh, stupid ass. Like, really? You're gonna give your DNA, buddy? Uh, oh, hell no. Dude, even the coloring here this is, is like this This is a very, color. yeah, white supremacist meal. Yeah. Huh. He declined the last meal, but had a lunch of roast beef and potatoes. He declined the last meal? You too good for the last meal, huh, my guy? I mean, come on! Yeah, I mean, it, like, first of all, this, no. But it's, more so than that, um, what he did, no. <laughs> oh. This is gross. Uh-huh. This looks like him. Dumb. It really does. If you took a, if you put his picture right here, it looks exactly like him. Yeah. I mean, the wrinkly skin. Yeah, honestly, I'm just gonna give this a one. That, because no. Because this isn't even his last meal. I'm gonna give it a straight up zero, because no. This is a crazy person. Why would you do this to yourself? Like, yeah, this is a lot. 
Um, like, I feel bad that I gave anything a one towards the beginning because this was the true. This was this is zero territory. Like it's good. I give it like a four. It just is like underwhelming. I'm gonna give this a negative four. Wow. Because I'm gonna, it resembles him so much. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a zero. We've tallied up the scores and Gilbert with his McDonald's meal at the very least of the best tasting food. McDonald's is a worldwide taste, so Chicky Nuggies, honey mussy? The, he was the only one that didn't get for me negative points. Yeah, me too. I mean, I feel like that was the best option that you could have picked. Kids, don't do meth. <laughs> don't be going around sharing your blood. And don't be killing people. Don't like, be killing what are people. you doing? Hey, it's your hash. Mm. What would your last meal be? I'm gonna stand by this. A cold can of Diet Pepsi and a handful of popcorn. No. What about you? That's so weird. I don't care. What about you? I would eat all the things that I can't eat anymore, like onions and garlic and dairy. I just have like giant pizzas and probably go. steak. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, if you guys like this episode, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow all of our accounts on social media. React on Twitter and Instagram, and of course, TikTok. Bye.